Hello and welcome to Shooting Gear Reviews. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today we're going to talk about the RTI Profit. I've got this one right here in 22 cal. I had to sit down for this one. That's how good this is, guys. Stay tuned and check it out. The RTI Profit is an air gun that I've had my eye on for a while. I got to see it just a little bit at EBR last year. And guys, I've just kind of been drooling over this thing for a while. I don't know, it just, it just speaks to me. Something about just this really minimalistic design, I like it. I like the fact that there's kind of no frills going on as far as the looks and, and, and so forth. It's everything that's here is just super functional. It's here for a reason. I'm just gonna say that I get to shoot a lot of nice air guns. I'm a really lucky guy. I get the chance to spend time with a lot of really cool stuff. And of all the air guns that I've gotten to spend time with, I think that this is the one right here that I wanna keep. I wanna keep this gun right here. I just, I, <laughs> I'm in love with this thing, guys. I know I've said that before, so Try to take me seriously here. I just wanted to really preface this for you guys with just kind of getting all that out there, with saying that this is an air gun that honest to goodness, guys, has me so impressed with everything that's going on with it overall that I want it. And, and a lot of air guns come across my desk and I shoot them, I send them back, I tell you guys what I think about them, and there's been a lot of fun, really awesome stuff that I've gotten to have. But guys, this RTI Profit, this is where it's at. This crushes everything else. Check it out. That was pretty good. I pulled that last one a little bit to the left. I thought the wind was gonna carry it more to the right. So it was a combination of a little bit of me pulling and a little bit kind of anticipating the shot too much. I think that's a pretty dang good 100 yard group. There it is, 100 yards, 22 cal RTI Profit with the JSB 1813s. Oh my gosh. This is incredible. I I told you guys I loved this gun, and that right there is why. I, 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 like I told you guys, I sort of slash pulled, slash overcompensated on that shot. Um, but these first three shots, smack, smack, smack. And then that one, I don't know. That's, for me, that's close enough. And like I say, that one, I know I kind of pulled, but look where it is, guys. It's right there. If I hadn't have overcompensated, it would have been right there again, so. Anyway, there you have it. Even with my screw up, that is a phenomenal 100 yard grouping. Love, love, love the RTI Profit. One other thing I wanna throw out there real quick is that this has actually performed for me pretty darn good with a couple of slug choices. The uh, Nielsen Special, the ammo, I got a good group at 50 yards, the H&N, 218 21 grains i was able to get some decent groups at 50 and 100 yards with those i got my aoa spinner targets out there at 100 yards i just wanted to show you guys how awesome this profit's doing using the h&n 21 grain 218s check this out For some perspective, let's just quickly run down there and I'll show you guys truly how small these spinner targets are. All right guys, here we are. I put this uh, 
busted up old squirrel right here for some perspective so you guys can really get an idea the size of these targets. What we're starting off with here is just barely bigger than uh, like your, what your starting point is for your typical knockdown target. But RTI, of course, is telling me this is not a slug barrel. Um, I'm not trying to sell this as a slug gun. But what I will say is that I like the fact that I can get results like that at 100 yards with just your regular domed pellets and then not have to change anything on any settings at all about the gun and take it out and go hunting and use those H&N slugs getting great ethical shots on the prairie dogs and I don't have to change a dang thing about the gun. To me that's kind of cool because I don't like to have to spend hours and hours and hours tuning a gun in between what I want to do with it. So there you have it guys that's my little sidetrack on the pellets and the slugs and so forth and the accuracy and all of that let's get back to the rest of the review so i've got my crony set up here we're going to go ahead and we're going to check out what sort of velocities that we are getting out of the uh, three best performing ammo choices that we've found so far So that's pretty stout, you guys. We're seeing obviously some supersonic cracks out of the lead-free stuff, but out of the slugs and out of those big old heavy redesigns, we're getting some pretty decent numbers out of this guy. So basically right now, the regulator pressure is set at 135 bar. I have not changed anything on the hammer or any other adjustments on there, but so far guys, just shooting it straight out of the box as it is, I'm getting right around 150 shots per fill, which is amazing. This is available in the black like you see here, but it's also available in a really cool uh, tan version as well. This has got the performance tank and this is just like gorgeous guys. Uh, this has got the fully adjustable reg, regulator adjustment, very easy, just right there. So of course guys, like you can see, it's got the threaded barrel nut and I've got it set up right now with a zero dB moderator. Wanted to just see how quiet I could make it. I'm getting it ready to do some prairie dog hunting. And I know that from previous experience, silence is golden when hunting prairie dogs. So I got the zero dB moderator on there, guys, and I'm really liking the results I'm getting out of that. Makes this thing, just like I say, gosh, so quiet. There you have it, guys, 7.3 pounds on my scale. That's just the gun right here. Let's see what it weighs kitted out. All right, we are coming in at 11 pounds even. So uh, the trigger, guys, just looking at the trigger, it looks maybe like kind of it's a little bit crude trigger. It's not as fancy looking as what you might have seen on, on some of your other air guns out there. But as far as the operation goes, guys, the trigger is phenomenal. It's, it's super crisp. Very nice and light first stage, I like that. Second stage, very crisp, like that. I haven't adjusted it at all. It's exact, I, I don't even know if I really want to adjust it at all. It is a fully adjustable trigger, guys, so I, I might get in there and play with it, but for now, I, I don't see really any way that I would want to improve that trigger uh, the way that it's set up currently. Here on the other side of the trigger, of course, we've got the side lever action, which is pretty awesome, guys. I love that side lever action. Actually, I really love it being on the left side because I hold the gun, obviously, with my right hand there on the grip and on the trigger. So being that the cocking lever is there on the left side is pretty convenient because I can just, with a quick movement of my left hand, which is my free hand, get the gun cocked again and ready to shoot. Now, 
One thing that I think is really interesting about this gun that was not mentioned in the manual and I don't really see how it could be so overlooked is that we've actually got two air connections. We've got one up here for filling the tank. Then we've got another one back here. It's a way that you can tether this rifle and bypass this bottle and this regulator. So if you've got a bottle like me with a Ninja valve on it and you can set your pressure coming out of your bottle to your gun, you're able to test a whole bunch of different pressures essentially without having to make adjustments to your regulator. Then once you've got it tuned in to just what pressure you know is gonna work the best for whatever slug or pellet you wanna shoot, dial your reg to that pressure and you're set. That makes tuning this rifle not only faster, but also easier, guys, because you're not having to go in and just constantly be making a bunch of adjustments to the regulator. Okay, so moving back kind of to be in order here, you can see we've got a nice big plenum there. The mag in this, guys, is something that I really love. I love the mag design. I love the fact that it can come in from either side. So if I was happen to be a lefty, right there, it's not in my way of my cheek, but since I'm a righty, I can flip it around right here like this, come in on that side, and, and it suits me just perfectly. Who thinks of that kind of stuff? I guess people from Slovenia think of that kind of stuff. And really guys, just I'll leave you with this. Again, of all the air guns that I've gotten to spend some time with over the last couple of years, for some reason, I'm just, I'm very taken by this one right here. And I think that it's got something really special going on. So there it is, the RTI Profit. One hell of an air gun. I think this crushes all air guns, in my opinion. And that's it for today, guys. I'm Ben, I'm outdoors, having a whole lot of fun with my air guns. I hope that you guys are too. Thanks for tuning in to Shooting Gear Reviews. I will see you in the next video.